This month has so much excitement about Jupiter, but if you want written detail about that, please go to my website, horoscope.co.uk, and it would be absolutely wonderful if you subscribed, liked, or shared. Here you go, here's your September. This is the astrological update for Cancer for the whole of September 2016. This month is quite full on in a good way. All of us are changing our focus when it comes to our luck and our sense of good fortune. So let's start at the beginning. And in the beginning, we have a new moon. Obviously very important to you because you're a Cancer and you are ruled by the moon. So when there's a new moon, it's a double whammy when it comes to a new start for you. And you can take power out of that. Every moon is an opportunity. And this new moon also has a solar eclipse going on on the same day. And for you, it's all about the way that you communicate. There may be some very important communication that changes the direction of your life on that day. Equally, you have the opportunity to shift the way that you communicate, look at the way you communicate, let go of negative patterns to do with communication, and maybe even start a project where you communicate, write, or get your voice out there. But something big is on the cards because that solar eclipse is saying, okay, it really is time to burn away any past issues and to move forward. Now then we have, on the 9th, the big news of the month possibly even the biggest news of the year, as Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, is shifting signs. And it's bringing all of your attention and opportunity to you connected to your home and family. Jupiter will deliver, hopefully in the next 12 months, some wonderful news connected to home or family. And that is given a real super boost. However, to really take advantage of Jupiter being here, it's really, really important that you step out of your comfort zone that's what Jupiter expects of us. He expects us to expand, to grow, to evolve. And when we do that, we get huge rewards. So how can you evolve your idea of home and family? What is it you want Jupiter to deliver when it comes to your home and family? This is 12 months of put your energy in that direction for fabulous results. Now, Saturn is square Neptune on the 15th, which is making you look at your idea of wanting to travel or or have an adventure. There may be something that you've dreamed about for a long time. And Saturn's saying, if you want that dream to come true, baby, you got to get practical. Are you being practical enough? Are you taking steps towards making your dreams come true? Or are you just sitting there going, oh yes, I would love to do that. Do one thing this week, or even now, that, that will bring your dreams closer to reality, and then Saturn will give you a helping hand. The full moon on the 16th is interestingly in your position of adventure uh, and travel an expansion and that full moon always gives you a message it is your secret weapon it always whispers in your ear should you be willing to listen to that magical tool you may have a dream you may suddenly have a deep intuition about what you need to do to really expand and go after your dreams but whatever it is the answer should be there there's also a lunar eclipse so it's saying you know what let's wipe out the past Let's let the past go when it comes to that. And it's a new beginning and it's a new idea that you have about for going forward. We also have Mercury going direct on the 22nd. And that's really helping you when it comes to your communication and getting your ideas out there. Even though the new moon was saying, right, that's it. That's what you've got to do. Perhaps you've been thinking about it. And towards the end of the month, you can actually pr take practical steps to do it. And you have a genius idea. We then have Venus, the planet of love, shifting signs, and it's going into a brilliant position for you. It's in your position of soulmates, sensuality, adventures, enjoying yourself. So there should be a real uplift in your love life from the 24th, and you're like, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit perky. We have Pluto going direct and Mars going into your position of relationships. So there really is some va 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 voom when it comes to lust and passion. But not just that, you really have the strength to, to go forward and the energy to put into relationships. But it also makes relationships a little bit fiery, so watch out for that one. Have a stunning month. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.